Hey, Super Slash 75 Movie Reviews. We're going to talk about Widows. Yes, Widows. This movie made me mad. This movie upset me because of a couple reasons. Um, Widows, directed by infamous Steve McQueen. Infamous because he's the guy that gave us 12 Years of Slave, and I don't care for slave movies. But let's get right into it. Widows is about uh, basically four widowed women that have to pay a debt because their husbands under the guise of uh, Veronica's played by uh, Viola Davis's uh, character uh, stole money from some bad people and the bad people uh, will and then double cross plot twist so let's get right into it opening montage I, I don't need to see Liam Neeson tongue kiss anybody I don't want to see old people tongue kissing each other you yeah the opening scenes it was Liam and then and, and Viola you you just this old people tongue old people should not be allowed to tongue kiss in the movies I, i'm sorry it was just too much over the top so then if uh cut scene uh the, the last heist uh they stole some money so basically uh veronica husband played by liam neeson has double crossed his crew set him up to get murdered so uh they take the money split the money with uh alderman mulligan or the guy who's running from Al alderman played by colin farrell uh jack mulligan and they had a deal to split the money stolen from some some gangsters uh who's opposing mulligan to running for alderman of the 18th ward which is um uh, the, the, I forget the name of the, the, the bad guys The money they, they stole Everyone's bad guys in this movie Oh I forgot the names The Randall guys, the Randall brothers I think it's the Randall brothers, forgive me So um All the guys died, right John Barenthal, one of my favorite actors Of course the Punisher from Netflix He's literally in this movie for 5 minutes He beats his woman They all sort of, the family dich dichotomy Or dynamics of each individual uh, so <laughs> he beats his woman. She's Polish, right? That's a, that's gonna come into play later on. The other guy, married to Michelle Rodriguez, character. He's a gambler. He's in a ton of debt, uh, borrowing money uh, from his wife uh, against her store. She sells dresses and tiaras and stuff. And the fourth guy, or the fourth woman, is a secret. Actually, it's uh, Veronica's husband's side piece and she has a baby with this man um will come into play also because uh, at one point uh, veronica and um her husband had a child that died a teenager died tragically uh, so many things going on in this so many different subplots with this movie i like the movie but i was upset because i only got to see liam and well liam's in there for a little bit more longer but john barenthal waste 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 he's badass and whatever character he plays literally in this movie for five minutes he gets shot in the stomach in the beginning <laughs> and so that the so the cops shoot out with the with the guys they're trying to escape of course uh liam neeson's character set them up so they all get shot up in the truck and, and he blows the truck up of course he gets the money scott skates while scott free okay so then he leaves a note with the key with the ledger he kept the ledger of every job he ever did everyone he ever blackmailed he had pictures on this security uh owner because he was sleeping with his niece you okay so she he gives her directions she gets the ledger what he wanted her to do his wife rather was to sell the ledger to pay off the debt she thought she wanted him to finish his last job so she meets up with she gets in touch with the other women and offers him a deal the fourth woman never really joins joins in so what ends up happening is they use uh bella i she she works in a um hair salon and it also does babysitting jobs for michelle rodriguez's character now there's another subplot going on now colin farrell's character jack mulligan starts this m wow uh some black woman's empowerment uh, fund to empower black women to create to start give them money to start the businesses in in the basically in the slums of chicago now that's a whole different um, thing I didn't want to get into, but they put it in there. There's a lot of social justice. There's a lot of feminism in this movie. Um, uh, there's there's a there's a push on single black motherhoods in this movie with the M Wow thing because you have these black women giving money from the government to start businesses. I don't want to get into that because this is just a movie review, not a political rant or not a gender war rant. Um, so then. 
she Viola Davis's character is getting the the, the 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 crew together. Veronica, she's getting the crew together. Um, so they practice. They cut. They get the guns. The Polish chick um, ends up at some point being an escort. She starts dealing with this one particular guy who builds buildings. Um, they all kind of do their thing just to kind of get by for the time being. Um, of course, Veronica's funny the whole thing. Now the whole other part is the Randall brothers. Uh, it was that money that her husband stole they want their money back so now the debt falls well basically on veronica because she's the only one that's living large she lives in a high-rise apartment so the randall brothers basically pay her a visit and be like yo we, we you got 30 days to pay us our money uh daniel kalua is in this movie the guy from get out and sicario he plays an, a pretty good bad guy i didn't like his death I, I didn't like his death it was just like he crashed they made him crash into the uh a, a, a turnstile to some sort like uh and he died on impact what another waste another waste okay so then the blueprint that's in the ledger right it's actually uh, a blueprint to jack mulligan's safe because i guess at some point he was going to rob jack mulligan so it's a say so yeah and then she blackmails the the company security company to get the codes uh to jack mulligan's safe and basically open the safe to get the money that they're going to steal they're going to steal five there's a five million dollar job to, to pay off the debt three for them to split okay basically it's just like set it off um the town all that mixed in but this is you know a female version of it it's pretty slick so then um the fourth woman veronica wants to go to recruit because they need a driver because her personal driver bash gets murdered by the randall brothers they pay bash a visit and give him a two-piece with the spicy what do you say yes y'all get him a two two piece with the spicy and they beat him to death because he wouldn't tell uh, uh he wouldn't give up where the ledger was at or if she had the ledger or not um <laughs> movie moving forward okay so then midway through the movie they delve, they delve into Veronica and her husband's uh, issues with their child. They had a, a teenage son. He was driving the car against their, their permission. And they told him to bring the car back. He busts a U-turn. The cop sees him. Chicago PD sees him. He is a, he's in a convertible. The cop says, hey, let me see your hands. The kid, you know, not just being a kid, say, oh, I forgot. To, he goes to reach for the glove compartment because he forgot to have. He forgot what I'm assuming what's implied to grab, have his license and registration already out. The cop sees him make a move for the glove compartment, he flip, you know, and he shoots him dead. And so she kind of blames him, and he's like, "Yo, hey, I couldn't do, I couldn't save him because he was literally on the phone talking to the kid while this all goes down." So then the dog. There's a scene where the where Veronica goes to the old the guy's clubhouse where they used to strategize and plot. The dog starts bark, barking because she the dog recognizes the scent of her dead husband. This is gonna come into handy. Now, at some point down the road, when they lean in, before they recruit Bella, they need a driver because Bash got killed. Uh, Veronica goes to the fourth woman's house. She has a four-month-old child, and she's like, "Hey, did they ever tell you anything? Did your husband tell you everything? This, this, and this?" She's like, "No, I don't know nothing about it. I'm not. A, I don't know nothing. What did they do?" She goes to get her baby. The dog starts barking at behind the door. There's a door. The dog starts barking incessantly. And so Veronica goes to the door. She doesn't open the door, but she something doesn't feel right. So she leaves. Grab, she grabs the dog and leaves. Basically, she takes the dog everywhere. Lo, come to find out, the woman comes back in with the baby. Veronica's left. She opens the door. It's her, her dead husband. That's her, their child, their four-month-old son. And he was like, hey, you know... She was like, I thought we were going to leave sooner because the plan was to get the money to leave out of town with the woman and the new baby. Yikes. Okay, so getting to the heist. They pull off the heist. Um, they get discovered because the whole time one of the Randall brothers is following Veronica. So right before they get to the... Tr oh, so then during the heist, the father, Jack Mulligan's father, he's an old school, just like uh, Ed, an, uh, a TV version or a movie version of Ed Daly. If those... Uh, Ed Daly Sr., I was living in Chicago. I understand who Ed Daly Sr. was. 68 uh, riot convention. Bad. Just bad. Just a bad racist mayor. So there's one particular scene between old Mulligan and the young son, Jack Mulligan. And it's basically uh, millennial versus baby boomer to a certain extent. And the son's like, hey, um, I'm trying to fix these people. Meaning, you know, he's referenced to the people in his ward, the black people. Because the old man's like, they won't stop killing themselves. They won't stop shooting. They won't stop. So the only thing we can do is just survive and, and take what's ours. 
the, the young the young and he wants to actually try and change the people through his programs and policy because he thinks he's the bastion for change and he thinks they're gonna just do what he wants them to do and, and, and act and be good upstanding citizens which is not the case there's a particular scene where um, him and old man are going back and forth at it and the son is like yo I can't wait to the day where I can't have to talk to you anymore and he's like what do you mean he said, you won't be here basically he'll, he can't wait he can't wait till the man is dead and it was just this very intense young versus old scene oh it was it was deep it was way deeper than what i'm giving description to all right so the jack mulligan goes to the debate with the older randall brother okay so now they pull off they go to the, the jack mulligan's home they pull off the heist the old man comes out with the gun shoots one of the girls the other girl michelle rodriguez shoots the old man jack mulligan's dad they take the gun right so that they go drop also on the way to pulling out on the way to the van where bella's waiting uh, they all get in and then here comes my man that one of the randall brothers the the, the the aggressive one had a gun to bella's head he kicks them all out the van he's driving off with the money with the van all of a sudden he hits this car taps him on the back end and he crashes into the freaking whatever it is the barrier and dies on impact they get the money out the van and they go they drop old girl the, the tall polish chick she gets Shot in the shoulder, they drop her off at the hospital with Michelle Rodriguez. And then she drops Bella off back in the hood. And then uh, as if Veronica is going back, goes back to the clubhouse to unload the money, that in walks her husband. And she flips out. He's like, yo, all I wanted you to do was just sell the ledger. I didn't want you to finish the job. You weren't supposed to be here. So he he's like, I need the money. So he backhands her twice, knocks her on the ground. He's about to pull out his gun and pretty much shoot her, which is, it's implied. So she beats him to the punch and shoots him. She's just devastated because she, she shot her dead husband, right, who has a child with another woman. Uh, so then she gets the money, loads it into the truck, torches the car, leaves. Everyone goes their separate ways, right? So then Jack, uh, Jack Mulligan ends up winning the alderman seat because the word got out that his father was murdered. And then he also, uh, before Veronica leaves, she uses the gun, that would, uh, the old man's gun that he had, and put it in um, her deceased husband's hand. Okay? Fast forward, everyone with their separate ways. Michelle Rodriguez, R Rodriguez's character gets her store back. Uh, Bella gives some money to her friend that owns the salon that she's in debt to Mulligan because of the MWOW program. And she drives off with her daughter. And then Veronica's in a, in a, um, in a, in a cafe, and in comes a Polish chick in the same cafe. They see each other uh someone from the mayor's office comes to meet veronica veronica's lady there's the money in the, underneath the table um fix the school center or something 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 do good with the money whatever the case may be so at the end um as the polish chick uh is going to her car out comes veronica she says hey how you been because obviously this is months after the, the, the heist went down she's like hey how you been hey, it was good to see you and scene the that's in the movie um i like the movie I, I liked it enough. I'm still mad. John Bernthal literally is in this movie for less than five minutes, man. And if, you, if you're if you a fan of John Bernthal's acting, you'd be pissed too. Because I was highly upset, disappointed. And um, yeah, no, 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 no more old people tongue kissing. But it was a smart little, smart, smart little movie. Uh, Steve McQueen, so many different agendas in this movie being pushed. Feminism, single black motherhood, um, um, female empowerment uh, at the behest of the man. Uh, young versus old, you know, old ver baby boomer versus millennial, rich versus poor, a classism, a lot of different themes. You know, Steve McQueen is always infamous for tilting things to the left. Uh, so that's my movie review for uh, Widow Super Slot 75 movie reviews. I'm out. Peace.